Creating and following a personal effectiveness ritual. Before you can become more effective, you must have the right lifestyle that will give you the personal focus and willpower you need to get things done. Follow the advice below. This doesn't apply to everybody, but try to adopt as many of these as possible. Sleep longer. When you sleep, you are recharging your willpower. Think of willpower as a set of coins in your hand. You only have a fixed number. Whenever you have to make a decision or whenever you have to analyze something, you have to spend one of these willpower coins. At the end of the day, you have no coins left. When you sleep, you recharge the willpower that you have, and if you get deep, high-quality sleep, you actually end up with more willpower coins to start your day. Wake up early. When you wake up early, you energize your focus. You also achieve a sense of newness or tap into a sense of possibility or adventure. These are very important states of mind that you need to leverage for greater effectiveness. Make it a point to wake up early. Exercise. I know that a lot of people are scared of exercise. I know that a lot of people are under the impression that they simply do not have the luxury of time to exercise. I get that. Believe me, I know where you're coming from. The good news is, exercise doesn't have to be big or dramatic. You can adopt a daily exercise routine that doesn't have to take up much time. What's important is that you're consistent. This is the key. As long as you do it morning after morning, you are fine. It may be something as simple as walking around the block or just walking your dog. That's okay. Just do it in the morning to turbocharge your focus and do it consistently, and you should be okay. Take a cold or short shower. This is controversial because, hey, let's face it, most people do not like to be inconvenienced. A lot of people think that when you take a very cold shower first thing in the morning, especially if you live in the colder parts of the United States, it is a form of torture. Believe me, I understand where you're coming from, but you need to shock your system. You must have a certain bright line in your daily routine where you wake up and the best way to send your body the signal is to take a cold shower. The good news is you don't have to stand under that blast of frigid water. You can use this opportunity to speed up showering. Also, when you do this, you not only wake up in a very clear way to start your day, but you also build up your ability to withstand discomfort. You can look at this as increasing your ability to withstand challenging situations. Believe me, taking an ice-cold shower first thing in the morning can be quite challenging. The good news is you get used to it. If you're able to handle that, then you will probably be able to handle a lot of other challenging situations. Eat a light, low-carb breakfast. If you have followed the advice above, you should be feeling energized. You should be very pumped up right now. Don't throw it all away by eating a very heavy, high-carb breakfast. I'm talking about lots of pancakes, possibly mashed potatoes or hash browns or rice or any other breakfast that involves a lot of starch. When you do that, you not only get a huge surge in insulin, which gives you some sort of brain freeze, but it also bloats you. This is a lousy way to start the day. Instead, eat a very light, low-carb breakfast. This means that you can load up on protein. Maybe you can eat sausages or corned beef or even scrambled eggs. Whatever the case may be, focus on the fat content so you get the energy you need without getting loaded down by a sudden spike in your blood insulin levels. Practice gratitude or some other form of mindfulness. Before you start working or before you start doing what you normally do every day at work or at school, practice gratitude. This doesn't have to be anything elaborate. You don't have to use some sort of complicated ritual. Just focus on the things that you're grateful for. Think about your greatest achievement in life. For most people, this has something to do with education. Maybe they finished high school, or they have a college or graduate school diploma. Whatever the case may be, focus on something big that you have achieved and how thankful you are. When you do this, you take your focus away from your stress, your worries, or anything else that soaks up mental energy. Instead, you focus on feeling open. When you achieve that state of emotional openness, you can tap into emotional energy that you can then direct to the task at hand. Alternatively, you can practice mindfulness. Again, this doesn't have to be a formal version of meditation. It could be a simple exercise involving you holding your breath for a few seconds, releasing, and then holding again. Whatever form it takes, do it if it enables you to lock into the present moment and completely unwind your mind. Give yourself the gift of a sense of urgency when attacking your task list. When you show up to work or when you sit down to do your job at home, look at your to-do list and focus on item number one with all emotional force and concentration. Attack it with everything you've got. Ideally, you should put the most challenging task of the day at the top. Give it everything you've got, and believe me, you will feel a nice emotional surge if you pull this off. Why? You get a nice sense of accomplishment. 
you are able to take out the tasks that you would have rather postponed or procrastinated on. Pat yourself on the back. You've done a great thing because, hey, let's face it, if left up to you, you probably would not have done it. So make a conscious effort to knock out the hardest task first thing in the morning or first thing in the day. Chop each to-do list item into bite-sized pieces. At this point, you should have simplified the tasks on your to-do list items. However, there's always room for improvement. Keep simplifying them until you reach a point where you only need to do one thing for you to take care of a bite-sized task. Once you take care of that, then you do another bite-sized task until you knock out an actual to-do list item. When you do things this way, you become less afraid of each task. You stop worrying about how much time it would take. You stop thinking about how difficult it is. You just focus on doing it right here, right now. So, simplify everything as much as possible by reducing them to bite-sized tasks and just plow through them like a bulldozer. Attack thoroughly. Now that you have everything in bite-sized pieces, like I said, attack them with everything you've got, but don't just blow them out of the water. Don't just get rid of them for the sake of getting rid of them. Instead, be very thorough. In other words, when you are supposed to file a report for your sales job, you need to look at all the details. Make sure that everything is what your boss expected. Make sure you don't overlook any kind of detail. In other words, focus on quality. If you are a student and you need to read a novel for class, make sure you've thoroughly read the book and you've taken useful notes. If you are working at a factory, don't just do what's expected of you, but make sure that the output meets the highest quality standards. Attack and be thorough. These go hand in hand. These are not alternatives. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.